Mr. Trujillo, the head custodian here. I've been here 11 years. And when I first started here, there was a lot of really trippy things that went on here. Uh, with the old game room where the cafeteria is at, my office used to be where the dock's at, where the kitchen's at. So when I'd open up, I'd come through and do the same little routine opening up, right? But I had to go through the game room. And like I was telling you guys one time, I was walking through and I heard change, like literally change hit the wood floor. And it's dark and there's so I kind of turn around, I'm like, hmm, okay, so I just went through and I opened up and I'd done all my rounds and I went in and turned the lights on. No change, no nothing, right? Um, I've seen doors slam, right? I was with Mrs. Hawes last Halloween and we were downstairs in the old area and she has an app on her phone about like like ghosts in orbs. And so her and Miss Madsen, one of the secretaries, went down there. So she comes up, she's like, Wow, you gotta come check this out. It really is. I'm like, whatever. So we went down there. You guys know where the paint room's at. Then there's that other little door that goes into the like old like right uh, not rifle range, but the uh, trophy room, right? Well, we're standing in there. The door to the hall is metal, so it's a heavy door. Well, right as we're standing there, she's looking at her little app, everything, she goes, she goes, no, it was more in, in the paint room. Right when we got to that wood door, that big door, nobody's around, and it slammed shut. And me and her both, I mean, ah, and it, was, it freaked me out. And she goes, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. So, uh, that was just one, but when I first started here with the change, then we've had a couple librarians in the past, I think I told you guys about this, in the library workroom, all of a sudden she calls me down to the library. And she's like, wow, she goes, the water just started running in the sink. Uh -huh. And I thought, yeah, my kid probably went over there and turned it on. Well, this older librarian, she was down underneath trying to mess with the knobs, you know, you know, on and off. So she's there and I go, here, I got it. So I thought, well, maybe she turned the wrong way. So I turned it right. And one way, nothing. The other way, nothing. So then I reach up to the actual handle, turn it on, it goes off. And I'm like, wow. So if you guys do believe in orbs, I do now. There has been things here and it seems like it's been year round. But I've noticed since some of the teachers here get into the ghost hunting, they're more into asking me stories of what I've seen and what they've seen. So. You know, it is kind of trippy, you know, but the way I look at it, I think us as humans, we're scared of the unknown. But once you know about it, you're fine. Yes, you know? is young, she retired, she used to be upstairs. Uh, it was during the summer and we were all cleaning because that's when we do the deep cleaning. Well, that weekend, me and my wife are doing building checks and downstairs, we used to have classrooms down in the old den, right? And we had just cleaned it, so I was going to go down there and make sure everything was dry, turn the fans off. Something kind of just was telling me not to go, so I had the two papers, and the one of the papers fell. And I was like, oh, I'll just take it to the break room, and then I'll go check it. But then I got doing it, and I forgot. Well, that next Monday, we're working, and a teacher comes up to one of my lady part-timers and said, hey, do you know where Wall's at? You're like, yeah, we're out in the gym. And she goes, well, there's somebody that's locked in school downstairs and I'm thinking to myself how do you get locked in a school the school's locked to keep people out correct you push on the handles so I kind of ignored it so we're getting ready for break this teacher comes up to me she's like there's a guy downstairs and he's freaking out and I'm like what you know because I done building checks thank goodness I didn't go down there but you never know what could happen so I grab my keys and I go down there with that young lady I'm like uh -uh, something happens right I want to protect us. Well, I went down there and this hobo had broke in, I'm thinking, Friday night before we locked the school, and he hid out downstairs for the whole weekend. And then Officer Bodie used to be one of our resource officers. Well, I tried to call 911 because he was freaking out. So I think he was by high on something, right? And I tried to calm him down there, but it wouldn't go through 911. So Lisa, my part-timer, I said, run up, because his office used to be my white mind, the resource officer. I go see if Officer Bodie's here. So she did, and he had just walked in. So he comes down, and no, this guy, all he could do is talk about it was after me. Serious, I mean, true story. 
And I sit there and I'm like, well, what was it? Because when I first confronted him, he was all like, well, I need to talk to the head custodian. He was using some choice language. And I go, I am the head custodian. He goes, well, I've been locked into school all week. And I'm like, how did you get locked in? How did you get in? Because see, if a door gets propped open, the sensors will go off, the alarms go off. So all I can think is that he got in set Friday before all the security came on. Every door down there he had open, so he was blocking the motion. Do we got motion around here? Anyway, you know the motion detectors that like you'll see not the cameras, but they're like white, and that's what if somebody's walking around, they'll pick up motion. So I was thinking, well, the door one would have went off first if you broke in during the weekend. Well, how come the motion didn't pick you up? Well, when I started paying attention, and all the doors kind of shut. If you guys go down there, take a walk down there. Just kind of see, in the one corner, there's a motion detector, right? Well, he and a camera. Well, he had those two doors open. Don't ask me how he opened them, because they're locked. So he opened them, and then the other motion, uh, he had had another door popped open to it. So he was down there the whole time. That's all he could tell myself and Officer Bodie. He's like, well, it was after me, it was after me. All the, the back door that goes out, you know, into the courtyard, he had tape all the way around the, the scene. Like, what's that gonna really stop anybody? And then the, all the doors were open, but the door that goes into the paint room, that little small one, if you ever open it up, it's always locked, but it's all dirt and just stuff down at the bottom. Well, he had that tape too, and he said that it was after him. It, don't know what it was. Five years ago when I was in the armory, um, we were doing Little Mermaid, and uh, a couple of students wanted to get me an Ariel doll because we were doing Little Mermaid. Well, it was late after the, the show was done, and the Ariel doll was sitting on my desk, and I heard a noise that I thought said, do you want to play a game? And I didn't think anything of it, because um, I thought I just heard something, um, but then I realized that I, that I got the doll, and so I went to look at the doll, um, and there was a button, so I thought, well, it just went off. So I pressed the button and nothing happened. And so I decided to check the batteries and then found out that there were no batteries. And so it freaked me out a little bit, but then I thought maybe I just put two and two together. So I decided to look up on the internet and see um, what the doll was supposed to say. And sure enough, it said, do you want to play a game? So a little freaked out at that point. I decided, I decided that I just was freaking myself out and I would go. So I left. Came back the next day, and I at that year I had first period prep, and so I walked into my classroom, and all the posters had fallen off the wall, every single one, and I had a good 10 to 15 posters on the wall. So at this point, I'm a little bit more freaked out, and I decide to take my entire prep period to tape them back to the wall, um, and so right as I get them on the wall, the bell rings for my second period class. The second period class comes in, everything's fine. Well. A couple of periods later, I had girls' choir, and I was telling them the story of the posters. And right as I'd finished telling the poster story, the Ariel doll, I remember, was sitting on a shelf, because I had moved it away from my desk, because it was freaking me out sitting on my desk, <laughs> so I put it on a shelf. And right as I was done telling the story of the posters falling off of the wall, the Ariel doll fell off of the shelf, and somehow its arm was pointing, and I kid you not, the poster it was pointing at fell off of the wall. And so I screamed like a girl, and I grabbed Ariel, and I threw her into the gym in the armory. Um, and of course, everyone was laughing. Um, and then I felt bad, because at this point, I still was trying to let anyway, the, the girls that got me the present, like I wanted to, like, I didn't want to like, throw it away. So I went and got it and reluctantly put it back on my desk. On the next girls' choir, girls were putting their stuff away, um, and there was a clock above where you put, the, where you put your folders away. And the clock jumped off of the wall and hit a girl on the head. Now, you could argue that gravity just let it fall, but the thing was like a good three feet away from the wall. So if it, if it fell off the wall, it would have just fallen on the top of the shelf. But no, it jumped and landed on top of the girl's head. Thankfully, she was fine. But at that point, I was getting more creeped out. And at that point, Central Singers was last period of the day. So I was rehearsing Central Singers, and all of a sudden, my alto section was just like laughing. And I stopped and I said, Altos, what's so funny? And they said, I swear I heard something say, do you want to play a game? And at this point, I was done. And I told them the story. As I told them the story, I was grabbing the Ariel doll and I just like, and I, like I went out in the gym and I like purposely hit her somewhere that no one would find. And I came back in the room and everyone was laughing at me, blah, blah, blah. Um, well, I go to the bathroom and I come back and the Ariel doll is sitting on my desk. So 
So I freak out, um, and I literally went and I jumped in the dumpster and I threw Ariel at the bottom of the dumpster with throwing trash over it. I didn't care who saw me jumping in the dumpster. Um, and then I just never told the girls that gave me the Ariel doll. <laughs> thankfully, Ariel doll was never to be seen again. And that's my story. Run, run, quick. Run, 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 run